Hey, Sandy here, and you're about to go to Africa, which I believe is one of the most scenic and photographed places on earth. Whether you're a professional photographer or a novice to the art, photographing the landscapes and wildlife of Africa is a completely unique art form. With lots of action in the bush, bumpy game drives, swaying canoe safaris, and exciting walking safaris, finding the best shot can be a bit challenging. So what camera equipment should you take? Well, I'm a Nikon fan and I love my Nikon. I'm no photographer and simply use the automatic feature, which gives me really good photos. Another good brand is the Canon. It's lenses that will really make the difference on your trip. I like to take the 18 to 50 lens for the landscape photos and a 55 to 300 millimeter for the close-ups. Of course, make sure you take lots of extra memory cards with you. I take lots and lots of photos. Keep clicking away as often as you want. You can always delete the photos you don't want. Video is a great way to relive the memories. And who knows, maybe you'll become the next YouTube star. Just about any prosumer video camera will work great. An iPhone also takes great video. Or you could even take your little GoPro, which is fun because you could secure it onto the game drive vehicle or attach it to your zip line. I'm not sure if most people still own a pair of binoculars, but if you do, bring them. But know that most of the safari vehicles will have a pair of binos. We recommend taking your own pair of binos because you'll want to brag about being the first to spot the lion. A good pair of binos that we recommend is the Canon 10x30 IS binoculars, which are well priced. With all of that said about technology and gadgets, we believe Africa is to be soaked up in the moments. So just put the camera and video down on occasion and remember to just enjoy the adventure.